What's going on guys and welcome back to another Friday Night at Freddy's update video now in today's video We have a ton a like an absolute ton of new characters that were just revealed over on scottgames.com But of course if you guys want to see more videos like this don't forget to drop a like in the video down below Drop a comment saying new and of course be subscribed to the channel for more content like this But let's go ahead and get into the brand new update here So as you guys know, I think last time I did an update video We were at like 24% or 22 and the last character we saw was I think it was not it was night I ended right before nightmare BB so last one we saw was music man and you know that was kind of it well i went on there today and now the website is at 30 four percent i think it's went up like 10 or 12 percent which is a lot of characters and i don't know who it is just x i haven't looked but obviously we're going to be doing that in this video so let's go and head over to the steam community page and check out what's new so there let wow this is a big list all right so there is a total of which i know nightmare bb came out like literally minutes after i made my last video but he still is new to me so there's nightmare bb happy frog mr hippo pig patch ned bear and orville elephant so those are all the animatronics that we saw on the actual stage and they're from like the masks from the other fights for age games i remember that and it looks like they're all in the game so i guess let's start breaking these guys down so with nightmare bb he sits in your office throughout the night usually slouched over when slouched be careful not to shine your light on him if he is standing however shine your light to return him to his sitting position otherwise he will attack when you're t when you turn away okay so this is really cool already so it looks like we're gonna actually be able to shine our like flashlight anywhere around the room and if we happen to shine it on him we're gonna die well actually you know what i'm gonna read these and i'll bring them down after i read them so anyways the next one is happy frog she climbs around in the overhead duct system making her way toward the host that drop down in your office oh that's who's gonna be coming through those use the heater to repel her or the audio to lure her or to hold to lure to hold her in pay in place she is fooled 100 percent of the time by the audio lure cool all right so mr hippo he climbs around in the overhead duct system making his way toward the hoses that drop in your office use the heater to repel him so same as happy frog um and then or the audio to lure him to hold him in place he is fooled 100 percent by the audio lure he is slightly faster than happy frog okay next up we have pig patch he climbs around in the overhead duct okay so same thing toward the hoses yeah nothing really new about him he is 100 he is slightly faster than mr hippo oh wow so each one is like slightly faster than the last one what the heck ned bear he climbs around same thing um this one okay he's different he is fooled 50 percent of the time by the audio lure he is slightly faster than pig patch oh my dude they're all so fast like orville elephant the last one he's gonna be so fast orville elephant he climbs around in the overhead ducks duct system making his way toward the hoses that drop in your office use the heat to repel him he is fooled 10 10 percent of the time by the audio lure he is slightly faster than ned bear okay well that's all the characters um wow let's get to breaking stuff down i guess so nightmare bb um he sits in your office at all times every all night all at all times so if you use your flashlight which this kind of reveals to us that you can actually shine your flashlight wherever you want so i guess you know there might be other stuff they have to shine your flashlight at too or you know maybe you can shine your flashlight out each of the doors you know whatever um but it looks like if you shine your flashlight you know if you're just shining it around the office and you happen to shine it on nightmare bb he will kill you and, and unless he's standing then you have to shine it on now if you don't shine it on while he's standing he's gonna move closer and eventually kill you or i think he just kills you if you don't do him uh right when you see him standing so that's interesting that's an interesting mechanic there's so much you got to worry about on this night though dude that's crazy like we're only 34 percent of the way in and there's so much stuff you've got to worry about like if you're doing a full-on every animatronic active you're gonna be in for a really massive challenge i don't even know how it's gonna be possible anyways though after that we have the happy frog um once again this is who we know is coming through the vents now so those two giant vents on the in the middle of the office um it looks like there's there's one two three four five um characters that are gonna be coming through them in total so i thought maybe it was, it was gonna be like two and two but it looks like you know they're just gonna kind of differentiate i'm sure there's gonna be like specific animatronics that come down specific vents but for right now let's just say you know three of them come from the left one and then two of them come from the right which it looks like that's where they're all gonna be coming from like all these guys i would have thought like you know oh happy frog would have come through the vent and mr hippo but then pig patch and, and ned bear and orville the elephant I would have thought they would have come from somewhere else you know it's kind of weird that they're all coming through the vents like none of them bothered to come through the doors but i mean i guess that that's still pretty cool um obviously just just to be able to have them in game is cool enough as it is like we have
had them in Five Nights at Freddy's 6, if you guys remember, but we never really got to, like, you know, actually see them in-game and come attack us. So it's pretty cool to actually have them, you know, in this, this uh, Ultimate Custom Night and actually be able to see them. Now, obviously, a lot of people have been saying, which I, I was saying this too, but we were kind of all thinking that, you know, Scott's really releasing these characters extremely fast, way before August 8th. You know, what's he going to do until then? But, yeah, I mean, you got to realize this is only him announcing the characters and announcing what they're going to do. So he still has to, you know, actually be able to have them do all of this stuff. And I don't know how he's going to do it, actually, in time. Because, like, okay, he's he's adding these very unique characteristics to every character. And so far, we have, you know, up to 34%. We're not even at half the roster yet. And the characters that he has here are going to take a long time to be able to do just about any of this stuff. Like, for him to program all of this, to be able to make the jump scares for all of these characters. Because some of these are characters we've never even seen before. So, I mean, I just don't know how he's going to do it all by himself <laughs> like not only that but i just thought about this too every one of these characters is gonna need a voice actor too like i don't think they're gonna be silent you know they have to make some kind of noise when they jump scare you you know because like you know freddy bonnie chica all of them the characters that we've seen before already have jump scare sounds but what about you know orville elephant music man nightmare b or oh, nightmare bb has a jump scare sound but like all the characters that we haven't seen it, old man consequences like he's gonna have to design jump scares like he's gonna have to hire voice actors he's gonna have to hire a bunch of stuff and i mean at this point i don't know if he's gonna have enough time to do it because like we're already at the end of march just about so we have april may june july august so i mean uh, he, he, i don't know man i mean knowing i'm sure he'll, he'll be able to do it but I, I don't know, man. It, it, there's just a lot to do. But yeah, guys, that is the characters um, in the new update. Overall, I think this is really cool. I'm excited to see Old Man Consequences, Music Man, and uh, some of the other unique characters like Phone Guy and stuff like that. I still want to know what Phone Guy is going to be doing. But in terms of Nightmare BB, I think that's a great mechanic. Um, just the fact that he'll always be in your office at all times. Now, I'm curious because it says... You know, it, when Slouch, be careful not to shine your light on him. If standing, however, shine your light to return him. So, I mean, if he's there, where could he be sitting, though, that you would accidentally shine your light there? You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Because unless he's sitting beside one of the doors, I don't see why you'd have to shine your light there. Because maybe you can... Or, oh, this would be a good mechanic. Maybe you can't turn off your flashlight. That's the only thing I could think of. Because, like, what... Because, okay, let's say you have to cross the room with, and you can't turn off your flashlight. Then it would be kind of hard because you could forget that he's there, accidentally shine your light on him, and then he'll kill you. But if you could turn off your flashlight, just shine it at the door, turn it off, and then go to the other side, shine it at that door, turn it off. You know what I'm saying? Like, that kind of thing. It doesn't seem like you'd be that hard. But maybe, like I said, you just can't turn off the flashlight for whatever reason, and it just... It's always on. So if he's anywhere in the office, he'll, he'll kill you. Now, in terms of the other ones, Happy Frog, Mr. Hippo, Pig Patch, Ned Bear, and Orville Elephant. I kind of wish they all didn't come from the vent. I mean, it's cool that they're even in the Ultimate Custom, like, like I said, but I don't know, man. I was kind of hoping that you, they'd show up like at the doors or through the vents or something like that. And I'm also interested in the fact that because if you look at the vents in the actual Scott Games teaser, you notice that they're both pointed like downwards, like straight down. So like, what are they going to, how are they even coming into that vent? I mean, I'm guessing the vent is probably like curved and then it kind of goes straight down after that. So maybe that's like, if they get too close, they'll just fall and then you can't stop them. You know, like when they're in that final part, they'll just fall right in front of you and then run up to you and kill you. But I don't know, man, because like from what it says, like, let's just read Orville Elephant. He climbs uh, around in the overhead duct system, making his way towards the hoses that drop into your office. Okay, yeah, so there is an actual air duct system up there that he'll be moving around, and then eventually he'll make his way towards the the uh, the hoses that drop into your office. Use the heater to repel him, so that's already something that we've seen before in 536, or the audio lure to hold him in place. So once again, you're, the audio is returning. I don't know if he, he's mentioned that with any other animatronic, but it looks like you are going to be able to use that so you know just like in fights phrase six or fights phrase three we're gonna have something that we can actually press that will lure them to a certain area now what's interesting here is it looks like it'll work for every other character perfectly except for ned bear and orville elephant so i mean the other characters should be pretty simple to keep out like happy frog mr hippo pig patch all you got to do is just continuously use that audio lure and you should be safe but the the ones that aren't as safe are ned bear and orville elephant especially because actually it seems like that one kind of just relies on luck because well then again no you can still use your heater to repel him so i mean as long as you're looking in that section that he could show up in you should be okay but if you for whatever reason 
aren't looking there and they get too close and you try to get them away with audio yeah they're gonna kill you so i don't know man that's pretty cool though i'm overall i'm really excited to see all these new characters i want to see what's next though i'm I, I have a feeling he's probably gonna save the phone guy for like the last guy that he shows off it kind of like i said in my last video it surprised me that he even revealed um old man consequences kind of you know thing this early on now really he didn't really say anything he just said better catch a fish but it still kind of surprised me that he even said that much about him so i'm kind of figuring you know for the final guy we'll probably get phone guy um and then all throughout the other you know characters will be, probably be seeing them a lot sooner than we think like the fact that he just showed off like what how many characters did he show off one no one two three four five six characters in in you know two days like that's crazy so i mean i feel like over the next few weeks we're gonna be getting a lot of characters i feel like he's probably gonna finish this up pretty fast and then go ahead and just start working on character designs and you know all of their attack cycles and stuff like that which i feel like he's probably gonna start showing that on scott games but i have no idea he did show he did say that he'd be showing the progress on scott games so i mean he could but really there's no telling but guys i'm in this video here of course if you enjoyed the video drop a like and if you made it all the way to the end of the video drop a comment saying happy frog and of course be subscribed to the channel for more content like this and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out guys